हाई एवरी वन दिस इज जस्ट लाइक अ टोटली इमरजेंसी बुक रिव्यू As many of you are aware, we have been reading *Abhyudaya* by Narendra Kohli. It is *Ram Katha* divided into two parts, and we have been reading it for the past three months approximately. And we just finished reading uh, these two books, and uh, this video just kind of happened because I have not really prepared anything for this video, but I really, really wanted to talk about these two books, and so here we are. All right. So today we'll be talking about these two books. These are Abhyudaya Part One. This is Ram Katha Part One and Ram Katha Part Two, written by Narendra Kohli. This is basically a retelling of Ramayana, the same story that we have been listening to over and over again as we grew up, and still it is different. It is so different. So I think all of us are very, very aware of what happens in Ramayana. What is the story of Ramayana? And you know, it is something that we have basically grown up listening to or reading about. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जो सबसे ज़्यादा commonly हमने जो story सुनी है ना वो एक संक्षिप्त एक abbreviated form of रामायण है द टेक्सट बुक्स दैट वी हैव कम अक्रॉस इन आर स्कूल्स हमारी जो कोर्स वर्क की किताबें होती थी वो एब्रीविएटेड रामायण होती थी बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली रामायण इज अज ह्यूज एपिक एंड इट्स नॉट वेरी ईजी फॉर चिल्ड्रेन टू काइंड ऑफ ग्रास्प द डेप्स ऑफ द स्टोरी एंड द लेजेंड्स सो आफ्टर रीडिंग दीज टू बुक्स मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि यू नो द बेस्ट थिंग दैट नरेंद्र कोहली हैज डन इन दीज बुक्स इज He has revisited these stories in a way where all of these characters, you know, whether it is Ram or Lakshman or everything, everything, even the Rakshasas, all of them are humans. They are not blessed with magical powers. वो बिल्कुल भी मायावी नहीं है उनके पास कोई ऐसी यू नो सुपर पावर्स नहीं है हनुमान के पास में भी सुपर पावर्स नहीं है कि कुछ भी कर सकते हैं एंड यू नो एंड यू लाइक हाँ 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 ठीक है इसके पास तो पावर्स है तो दे कैन डू इट सो ऐसा नहीं है इन अभ्युदय वॉट नरेंद्र कोहली हैज डन इज दैट ही हैज ब्रॉट ऑल ऑफ दीज कैरेक्टर्स टू ह्यूमन ग्राउंड दे आर ऑन अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड नाउ एंड नो बडी हैज सुपर पावर्स वाई दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज समथिंग आई विल कम बैक टू अ लिटल लेटर Another very very interesting thing that Kohli ji has done here is that ये जो जितनी भी you know different species जो we come across in the mainstream Ramayan कि वो वानर थे वो गिद्ध थे you know they were like really portrayed as animals. All of those creatures and all of those species are again human. Hanuman is human, Jatayu is human, Rakshasas are human. Gids are human. These are just basically different kind of, uh, let's say, terminology that they use to identify themselves as a class or a varg, जैसे बोलते हैं. There are no flying aeroplanes. You know, Pushpak Viman is basically not a Viman, and there are no as such magical weapons or what you say, the Vyastra or the Vastra. They are there, but they are. Merely, you know, advanced weaponry. They are not magically powered. So, is se kya hua hai na? Once you bring all of these creatures and all of these people to a human level, now they are working from the same level up, right? Humans do not have powers. They do not have an excuse of just basically flying over their troubles. If you are a human, you have to live your mortal life, and you have to face your challenges like a human does. So, in this, the most important thing that I felt was that it was very, 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 very amazingly, you know, portrayed. It is that that humans are capable of so much, so much. And what we hear from these stories is that they have super powers, they have. यू नो माया भी शक्तियाँ थी मुझे ये बुक पढ़ने के बाद में ना सीरियसली ऐसे लगने लगे कि यार दीज मेन स्ट्रीम काइंड ऑफ नॉमेटिव स्टोरीज आर रिड्यूसिंग 
द केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन्स यू नो वी आर केपेबल ऑफ सो मच एंड वेन यू लुक इट ऑल ऑफ दीज कैरेक्टर्स लाइक दे वो ह्यूमन वेन यू लुक इट दैम लाइक यू लुक इट योर सेल्फ विद योर ओन लिमिटेशंस ऑफ योर ओन बॉडी देन यू रियलाइज वट अ मार्वलस फीट इट वॉज फॉर राम टू हैव क्रॉस्ड the entire india went to lanka you know made that setu i mean then you realize how remarkable it was then you truly understand that okay you know humans can do so many things and magic is just basically being used as an excuse to kind of diminish these uh, feats or these you know remarkable achievements that we we have done in the past another beautiful thing that has happened through these books is that i have started understanding my own nature better because uh, you know when you once you realize the motivations the reasons behind every decision that ram is taking or sugriv is taking you know how difficult it must have been to stand up against your own people against your own brother or against your own father or your mother how difficult and how heartbreaking it must be as it is exactly for us today you know that's when you realize कि नो देर इज समथिंग टू दिस थिंग दैट यू नो कि आप बोलते हैं कि राम वॉज युग पुरुष ही वॉज मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम कुछ तो बात है कि उनको ये बोला जाता है राइट आई मीन देर मस्ट बी समथिंग हाउ कैन वी बी सेटिस्फाइड विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट हैज बीन गिवन टू अस थ्रू ऑल ऑफ दूज इयर्स एंड आई truly truly believe that all of us should be reading these books if you are somebody who can read hindi please 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 read these books you will discover a side of ramayan and of shri ram that you have never ever imagined and i i really really urge you to read these two books and when you are at it once you have read this because this is a very you know short story i will also urge you to read mahasamar series which is a retelling of mahabharat by narendra kodi now that one is a huge undertaking it has nine parts okay and all of them are like huge parts because obviously mahabharat is mahabharat and uh, it is going to be a huge commitment but if you read these two books and mahasamar i guarantee you that your outlook towards our culture you know the kind of stories that we have been raised with towards all of these characters that we have come across again and again over the time it will change forever will change forever and for the better aur sirf aisa hi nahi hai ki you know aapka outlook change ho gaya hai and you know you kind of understand these characters better nahi aisa nahi hai you understand yourself better you know that is the power of books that they kind of make you understand yourself better aap kyun koi decision lete hain you know why are you scared of your limitations what is it that you can do to overcome those limitations how can you take inspiration from all of these characters all of these people who have set the foundation for us to follow you know how can we take what is good and what is right from all of these stories and then pass it on that is the power of books i really truly truly urge you to pick up these two books please read them please talk about them because you know this is retelling or let's say if you want to call it mythological retelling or puranic retelling this is what retelling is all about